Welcome back. You're still tuned into Trading R, and let's get you a conversation now on the sidelines of the NASCOM Technology and Leadership Forum. Uh, CNBC TV 18's Shilpa Rani Peta caught up with Crompton CEO Matthew Job and asked him about the company's transition to star rated ceiling fans for greater energy efficiency, the impact of this move on their business. Uh, the Crompton CEO, in fact, also discussed margin pressures and how the summer demand is really panning out, considering that we do have an early onset. Listen in. We still almost. Uh... Two crore fans a year, and I think almost 80% of that is ceiling fans. Mm -hmm. And uh, from 1st of January this year, I th we had to completely rejig the portfolio to make Correct. sure that uh, they meet the, the new B standards. Mm -hmm. So I think for almost uh, six to nine months, I think our entire uh, you know uh, R&D teams have worked you know hard to make sure that uh, the entire Compton portfolio, which is of in excess of 500 SKUs, actually redesigned to meet right. the the new norms. So, so, yeah, I mean, that, that work uh, took, I think, quite some effort, especially in terms of deployment of uh, the R&D resources. Now, having done that, the, the products have all our ceiling fans uh, have been converted to, to star-rated fans uh, starting from January this year. I think okay. uh, our current uh, objective is to get these uh, superior products to the consumer's hands as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, not only to get them to the consumer hand as quickly as possible, but to do so, you know, with, with a minimum price increase and also then to be able to communicate to consumers that uh, energy efficient fans which were traditionally much more expensive are now within everybody's reach. So we're right. building also a, a TV campaign which will uh, bring this idea of energy savings within your reach right. to, 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 our, you know, to potential consumers across the country. Right. But did you have to uh, take a price increase uh, for the portfolio? How much was that? And also, if you can run me through, what are the inventory levels with trade then right now? And what about non-star right. rated and star rated? So, you know, so I would say you know, cost increase of uh, one-star rated fans versus non-star rated fans, uh, which, which was being sold till the last quarter, is about 15%. Okay. Uh, uh, because the entire you know products have to be you know uh, upgraded to meet the new requirements. But having said that, obviously it was uh, not reasonable to try and pass 15% increase to the consumer because you know I think the the fans industry has already passed uh, in the last year and a half almost 20% uh, price increase to the market because most companies were facing um, cost inflation of in course. excess of 30%. Uh, so what we have done is we have passed roughly 5% increase to the to, to the consumers and our objective. And goal has been to continue to work, you know, our R&D people to try and eliminate, or, or at least if not eliminate, minimize that uh, cost increase that has Correct. happened. Uh, that's that's one. I think so. Going forward, you know, our, our primary objective is one to make these star-rated fans available as, at as low a price delta as possible. Number one. Second, in terms of your question on uh, on on inventory, inventory. of uh, both non-star-rated fans and star-rated fans. I think our objective always has been to get uh, these superior products to the hands of the consumers as quickly as possible. Mm. So even in the October, November, December quarter, uh, you know, we were very careful in terms of building up stocks okay. or in pushing extra stocks to the channel because we, we believed that, you know, the faster we could get these new products to the hands of the consumers, the better it would be for everybody. Uh, so if, at least as far as Crompton uh, fans are concerned, I think at this moment in, mm. in February, or February towards February end, I think the stock levels in the trade of non-star rated fans is pretty much uh, zero, zero or close to zero. Okay. Uh, for some for some of the other brands, it could be a little higher because of the fact that a lot of stocks have been pushed in the last quarter. What's your outlook for the pumps business then? Because a lot of yeah. slowdown flagged there yeah. as well. You're right. Pumps has been uh, soft for a while. Mm. I think that's been caused by by two or three factors. One, I think uh, a lot of competitors who have traditionally been only playing in agricultural pumps, because of the fact that agricultural pump business itself was was struggling. Mm expanded into residential and they came in with very low prices and you know initially we decided not to respond immediately uh, that's one so obviously we did start to lose some volume because with the fact that we did not want to act on prices very quickly mm. uh, now having said that in the last quarter maybe towards November December we decided that we needed to do some pricing action so that's been done and we started right. to see some improvement already right. the second also I think uh, an area which, which is of importance for us is again to build some superior proposition in pumps. Mm. So we've done a lot of consumer research and we've identified that, you know, the two, two critical consumer benefits are one, how quickly do you fill the, the tank? Correct. Uh, and second is how durable are the pumps? Mm. So, you know, based on these two parameters which we've identified, we have re rejigged our entire portfolio, especially in residential. So those products have started going into market in December. Right. We have, you know, corrected the prices to make ourselves more competitive. And third, 
I think we have not advertised pumps in the last 15 years. Okay. So, you know, we, coming this season, April, June, we will also advertise pumps. Because as I mentioned some time back, I think it's not only enough to, to have a good idea, but then you need to you know, design products around that idea and then communicate that to the consumer. So, right. I think that's the third part of that, uh, of that entire equation which we will, which will implement. And that, I think, will get pumps back to double-digit growth. Right. In, in, the, in the short term. How much was this uh, price correction that you talk about? Oh. And also in other categories, also I think you did have to, uh, d you did take some pricing action, so some correction there. Okay, if you can yeah, elaborate on pumps, that. In pumps, I would say we have corrected or reduced prices by roughly five percent. Okay. Uh, because you know the, we felt that the difference with uh, with competition had become uh, unsustainable. Correct. But that's only the first part. You know, just mm. you cannot only keep dropping prices and compete. That's why we took the second action in terms of rejigging the portfolio around relevant consumer benefits and third, communicate. In some of the other categories, you know, it, it's been more tactical. Like I mentioned, 30% cost increase on fans. We are possibly 20%. Okay. Second, when this star-rated fans got, got launched, cost increase was 15%. We have only passed 5%. Mm. Uh, and the rest we are trying to manage through one, you know, better uh, management on the cost side. Uh, you know, and second is, uh, you know, better management of the mix. So I think that's how, because I think it's very important that we don't start to lose share. Right. Even if it means, you know, for a short period of time, we have to compromise on margins a little bit. Right. So that's how we are trying to look at this whole business going forward. I'll come back to the share in a uh, little bit, but I wanted to then understand margins also. Yeah. Right. Margins saw a sharp drop in the last quarter as well. But there has yeah. been some softening of uh, raw material price, of commodity prices. So where's the pressure uh, coming in from? What's the outlook see, like? See, I would say last quarter, I think uh, gross margins, the structurally, mm -hmm. you know, they were intact. Okay. I think the reason why you saw the company's profitability erode a little bit was because our sales did not grow, you know, as usual. Okay. Normally, we would be delivering 10 to 15 percent growth in a, in a quarter. Last quarter was negative. Okay. Uh, and that's why you saw the margins, uh, you know, at, at an EBIT level erode. But fundamentally, the gross margins are, you know, are where, you know, where they have been for quite some time. Okay. So I think the challenge or the the, the key objective in, in in the short term is to get growth back, mm. which is why we have taken some action tactically on some of the areas like pumps. Uh, we believe that if you are able to d deliver double-digit growth, we will continue to have industry-leading profitability. But okay. you know, I think our focus going forward, uh, instead of trying to maximize or keep or manage profits on a quarterly basis, is to try and ensure that the long-term you know, growth of the company is, uh, is kept intact. Okay. And that's how we are trying to rebalance you know, growth and profits going forward. And uh, the summer demand, I wanted to understand, how do you expect, summers are supposed to be harsh. Yeah. There's an early onset of summers in several yes. regions also. Yes. So what is your outlook for demand like? Do you think that the softness in the past couple of quarters can be, you know, yeah. uh, met or overcome this time for the air coolers business, for the fans business? Yeah, I think, you know, for unfortunately, except, the, you know, for the, for the last two, three years, I think the summer quarter has been disrupted because of COVID. Correct. Lockdowns and so on and so forth. Less so last year, but the two years before that. Uh, we think that you know a lot of this short-term disruption which we had because of these phase in phase out of fans mm. would be done by then uh, and also given the harshness of the summer and also February has been the hottest summer on record right so we think the April June quarter will be will be reasonably strong for uh, for especially for fans pumps and air coolers okay so we do we, we are optimistic that things will start to look up in spite of the fact that uh, there is still some commodity headwind mm -hmm. uh, the, because in the last uh, two months I think commodities again have, have gone up by roughly 10%. Okay, so that's the word coming in from Crompton. And with that, we are completely out of time on this edition of Trading Hour. Thank you very much for watching. Do stay tuned. Halftime report coming up next.